you were in Russia and you posted that picture and then you were sitting with President Putin and in the Western press there was an absolute meltdown that uh, now Dr. Jay Shankar is there and then there's this bonhomie between President Putin and Prime Minister Modi, untrustworthy uh, friend and ally. The Western media just doesn't know how to read you. No, no if, the, if people can't read me, that means my mind games are working. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, the answer is, honestly, I see no reason uh, that people uh, should uh, take any, you know, what was happening other than at face value. Because we have always maintained that the Russia relationship is a very important one, very steady one. I have written about it in my book. Yeah. And I said it in Moscow. I mean, I said it in publicly in Moscow. Uh, even before my meeting with President Putin happened, which is that we value this relationship. It's a relationship that has served India where, look, I'm looking at it now from an Indian perspective. And that's also part of being Bharat. Huh? Part of being Bharat is you must look from perspective of your interest, not allow other people to decide your judgment and your, uh, your responses. You know, when you, talk, you write about the Quad and then the disappointment when the Quad had to take a back seat, and then it comes up again, mm -hmm. uh, well, it comes into focus when Prime Minister Modi comes in. Again, it comes into focus. So obviously when it's Quad, and then there is Russia, who are the new friends? Who are the old friends? Is everybody a friend? This Vishwamitra bit, I know you're going to come back to that. Uh, is everybody a friend? How do you choose your friends and allies? No, uh, again, look, a country which has maximum friends, and minimum adversaries is obviously one with a smart diplomacy. Mm -hmm. So uh, why would a country restrict its friends? Why would it say, I will choose you and not choose you, mm -hmm. unless your interest compelled you to do that? I am today focusing on how do I expand my relationships? How am I more present? How am I uh, more influential? Uh, so for me, uh, the more friends I have, the more forums I'm member of, the more places where I can uh, influence sway outcomes is good for me. You've now, it's the others who push okay. you, you okay. know, this is the mind games that others play, that, you know, they would say, you know, if you are a democracy, you must do this, this, this. So if you should ask them, well, if that is so, please look at the mirror and tell me how you were behaving as a democracy. So everybody, after all, you know, look, it's not like, Every country has its values and beliefs, but every country has its interests as well. And every country finds a balance. So when others come and tell you that you have no interest, that you know you must go by what has been decided elsewhere, that's when you you lack that uh, uh, self confidence to say, I'm, "Excuse me, I think I'm going to do something else because I've looked at it very carefully and my interest uh, have." Uh, uh, taken me in a certain direction, not asked me to take a certain position.